Hi, everybody. You know, I want to talk about diet real quick. Um, diet is something, there, there's, who knows how many diets out there. There's a bunch of diets. Um, but I think what's most important is to monitor your macros. So your macros are your the fat. You want to know how much fat you're eating, uh, how many carbohydrates, and how much protein. Those are your three macros. And I think you all know that what's most important, I think, especially if you're older or if you're trying to lose weight, is you need to get enough protein. So what I like to do is I like to get one pound, or not, I'm sorry, uh, one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So if you weigh 150, that's 150 grams of protein. That's a lot. And I, I've been doing this for a long time, so I've heard a lot of people trying a lot of different things. And what I want to talk about specifically today is the one-third, one-third, one-third. That really makes sense for me. Because there's three different macros. I named them. So if you're eating one-third fat, one-third carbohydrate, and one-third protein, you're going to get solid nutrients. And that's not easy to do if you don't get focus on your protein first. There's a lot of apps out there which will count your macros. Find one of those. Put your food in and see where you are most of you are going to find that your fat is a lot higher than you think it is. The reason for that is because one gram of fat has 9.2 calories in it. One gram of carbohydrate has four calories in it. One gram of protein has four calories in it. So if you're eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, you're getting a lot of carbohydrates, but you're not getting a ton of calories. And you're certainly not getting enough protein if you're just eating fruits and vegetables, in my opinion. But it's the fat creeps up. And the fat is in uh, fatty meats and, um, you know, oils and things like that. Um, fried foods. That's where the fats come from. So if you're eating lean meat, like chicken or... Uh, fish, lean fish, and you're eating fruits and vegetables, your calories are going to be low. They're going to be low. But you'll be surprised at how that fat creeps up, even if you're trying to avoid it completely. And fat is important. We need the fat. We need quality fats for the uh, fatty acids, the essential fatty acids. Very important to make our body work. As a matter of fact, we need protein and fats. Those are essential. Uh, carbohydrates are not, meaning that you're not going to die if you don't eat carbohydrates. Your body will fuel itself from fat would be its next choice. Now, I'm not saying don't eat any carbohydrates, but as you age, for me, I need to keep my carbs down a little more. So for me, if I'm going to just do a diet, and eat a certain way. I'm not going to pick a certain diet, but I'm going to watch my macros. The first thing I want to get right is my protein. So if I'm eating, say, 200 grams of protein times four, that's 800 calories. Now, if I ate 200 grams of carbohydrates, and uh, it would be a lot less, about 80, I'm not doing the math off the top of my head, about 80 grams of fat, you double it. So at 200 grams of carbohydrates and 200 grams of protein, I'm at 1600 calories. Now, if I make up that 800 calories left or to make up the one third, one third, one third, that's going to be about what? 80, 80 grams. Um, because it's got tw over twice as much, uh, twice as many calories in the fat. So if you focus on the protein first and get a feel for the foods that you're eating, and then if you match your carbohydrates to your protein, 
See where your fat is. I think you're going to be surprised because a tablespoon of olive oil is probably about 120 uh, calories right there. Just a tablespoon of olive oil. Well, that's not really going to fill you up. Eggs are high in fat. Uh, so you're going to get the fat usually with the protein, depending on what kind of protein that you're eating. So get a nice balance of your protein. To get up to 200 grams, you're going to have to eat lean protein. You're going to have to eat chicken and fish and th shrimp, things like that. And then hit your carbohydrates and then see where your fat is and modify from there. If you, if you got 200 grams of protein and 200 grams of carbs and you fill the rest in with fat, you're going to be at 2,400 calories. That's about right for a lot of people, especially if you're younger, depending on how active you are. If you're active, it's not going to be enough. I'm almost always under 2,400 um, calories, but I'm at about 150, 160, maybe 180 grams of protein. And my carbs are also a little lower. So I'm not quite one third, one third, one third. I'm more, I'm shooting more for um, about 2000 calories, but about 150 grams of protein. Uh, a lot of times, you know, you know, I'll keep my, my fat under or my carbohydrates at about a hundred or less. The rest is fat. So I'm, I'm getting plenty of fat because of the meats and the proteins that I'm eating. But you guys tr look at that. Instead of just grabbing a diet, carnivore, vegan or whatever. I mean, if you're a vegan, you're, you're not eating uh, animal based products. So that's a whole different thing. And I think you can, you can do it, but you got to really know what you're doing if you want to go vegan, but look at your macros, just look at your macros, put them in, um, in some type of an app that will calculate everything for you and see where you are. That's the first step. If you guys have questions, uh, about what I do, um, put them in the comment section about what I've done at what different age, what I did at age 22 is completely different than what I do now, you know, over 60. If you guys like um, to know about how to be fit and healthy for someone over 60 or 50 or 70, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you'll see some of my affiliates in the um, description. And thanks for listening. And I will talk to you next time.